I'm back with another video, this is The Walking Dead, and last time out, we went through and got the armory open, um, we watched tapes, got medicine, um, battery, fuel, all that shit, and now we're running away from a horde of zombies. That's saying that we've only played five minutes then, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wait, did it say five minutes? It did. <laughs> we have not played five minutes. We have played a lot more than five minutes, I can tell you that for a fact. Unless that's five hours. Oh shit. I forgot how, uh, how into the action we were. Oh shit, I've done it again. That's twice I've done that now. Grab it, then lift up, shoot, and then grab it, then look up, and grab it. There we go, Lee. Come on. Oh, shit. Well, you've all ran away and left me. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Turn your head. Bow. See you later. See you later. Shit, we're going one. I didn't know about it. What? There we go. Come on. It's all right, Clip. I'm fine. Alright, we don't have time for this. Let's go. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go! Shit. Hold on, Ben. I've got you. Seriously? He's such a nuisance to the end, isn't he? Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Quit fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Please. Why is he playing the hero's death now? Well, he's ruined absolutely everything. Lee, we both know. Let me go. Sorry, Ben. I made your sacrifice worth it. I did. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -mm. Uh. Oh, he's not dead. Hey. Okay. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. <laughs> wow. All that dramatic just for him to go... Where's you are? Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? 
Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. Whoa. That's what happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Man, I hope so. He said let him go. The boat. I let him go. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. Granted, I didn't I'll know he was going to st still be alive. Check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. Save your platitudes for someone who's buying it, huh? What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are, they're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands Whoa. and take her back with me to my people. Well, <laughs> well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. How dare I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. The only reason you're not dead, Vernon, is because I chose not to, right? Think about that, think. Well, I'd be terrible in a zombie apocalypse. Absolutely terrible. Let's go talk to Clementine. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun so that's it after all we've been through you you're just gonna leave yeah I figured you don't owe me anything I got what I wanted in Crawford and I never did like the water where will you go I don't know I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. Ah, fuck. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Burn my finger. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. Hmm. I don't. Th I think we're close to the end now of episode f uh, episode four. Sweet pea. Annie's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem. Have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. See, 
giving him the brave, brave ending. Saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Sure. We'll look before we leave. Really? You'll take me to Crawford so we can look? <sighs> I knew you didn't really mean it. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. I don't know why we can't look. Why? No, take two seconds. Oh shit, that's not good either. What are you doing, Lee? Oh, okay, he's sitting there. Never mind. I thought, I thought we were just gonna leave him there. Holy shit, is that the end? No, okay. <sighs> Clementine? Oh. Not again. Clementine? Not again. Wait, is that the walkie-talkie? I thought we put that down. Oh, not again. I didn't even get the control over this. Where the fuck is everyone? Clementine? Clementine! Ah, shit. Now I get control. Oh shit, wait, I thought that walkie-talkie was... What? It was on our waist! Why do I have control? Fuck! Safe. I'm showing it to them. Where's Clementine? I'm showing it to them. She's not in a room. I'm showing Vernon it. Ain't in the I'm house showing either. it to them. I'm showing what it to the them. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? I'm showing it to them. They trust me. Oh my God. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own. No way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. We're all responsible for Clementine, and in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. Holy shit. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. 
Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. Fuck. Then would I be if I wasn't there for you? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Fuck. Hmm. Should have chopped it off then and there, Lee. Should have chopped it off then and there. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Oh fuck a horde. Did you kill the boy in the attic? The little duck look like. 25% um, of players killed him. I thought it was necessary. Kenny has already gone through enough. Um, did you lie or threaten Vernon? 42% 40 of players threatened or lied to him. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? Me and 55% of players brought her. Did you let Ben fall? 47% of players. I thought I was the bad one. But no, there's still 40% of players he did. And did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 82% of players showed the bite. Wow. Wow, who came with you? Oh shit, there's actually a chance to get... I didn't know Ben could actually survive. Oh shit. I just thought if you tried pulling him off, he would have... ...fell. Eventually. Oh well, we still got Chris Doreen Mead. And we still got Kenny, which is good. Good, good, good. Um, so, that was a part 13%. 
so yeah um i hope you have enjoyed episode four we're gonna move on to the last and i was gonna say last and final the fifth and final episode and then we move on to game two i'm gonna try and post 40 minute 40 to 50 minute video so we can get get it done in two or three and um yeah, so if you have enjoyed, give a like and subscribe and all that bullshit. I'm going to let the credits roll out. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye.